What's up, folks? Today we're going to be talking about what is, in my opinion, one of the most interesting scientific ideas out there, and that is the uncertainty principle that was published by Heisenberg. Wait a minute, not that Heisenberg. There we go, that's the Heisenberg we're talking about. To explain Werner Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, let's ask ourselves an interesting, puzzling, and thought-provoking question. How could a single electron, which has a definite mass and a definite charge, show an interference pattern when passed through two slits? One possible explanation is that the electron splits in half, travels through both slits, and then interferes with itself. And we can test this hypothesis by shining a laser beam directly behind the two slits. When an electron interacts with the laser, it's going to make a tiny flash. If the electron passes through both slits, then we should see two flashes, one directly behind each slit, at the same time. But we don't. Only one flash behind only one of the two slits is observed at a time. Furthermore, the interference pattern that we saw before we introduced the laser is now gone. Instead, the electrons are hitting positions directly behind each slit. Now all of a sudden the electrons are behaving like particles, not waves. So now we know that the electron travels through only one of the two slits, not both of them at the same time. If we see which slit the electron goes through, then we lose the interference pattern. If we want to see the interference pattern, then we got to remove the device that allows us to determine which slit the electron goes through. No matter how hard scientists have tried, and they have tried very, very, very hard, not one of them has been able to see which slit the electron goes through while simultaneously observing the interference pattern. And most scientists agree that this will never be accomplished. But why? Well, as you've probably guessed, this is where Heisenberg's uncertainty principle comes in. The uncertainty principle basically says that although an electron is both a wave and a particle at the same time, there's no way to completely observe both the wave behavior and the particle behavior simultaneously. The wave nature and particle nature of the electron are what scientists refer to as complementary properties, which means that the more you know about one property, the less you know about the other. Which of the two properties you want to observe depends entirely on the experiment that you set up. Remember, electrons are so tiny that there's no technique available right now by which we can observe an electron without dramatically changing its behavior. The observation affects the outcome. To accompany this bold idea, Heisenberg published an equation in which delta x times m delta v is greater than or equal to h over 4 pi. Okay, so it's really more of an inequality, not an equation. The inequality originates from the fact that an electron's position, x, is related to its particle behavior and its velocity, v, is related to its wave behavior. Delta x represents the uncertainty in position, and delta v represents the uncertainty in velocity. Since h over 4 pi is a finite number, a small value of delta x, which represents an accurately known position with little uncertainty, will result in a large value of delta v, which represents an inaccurately known velocity with a large degree of uncertainty. The opposite is also true. Small uncertainty in velocity will result in a large uncertainty in position. It's basically just a mathematical way of saying that the more you know about the particle behavior, the less you know about the wave behavior, and vice versa. I know it seems weird, but the uncertainty principle actually has a lot of scientific evidence to support it. And who knows, perhaps as more sophisticated measuring techniques and instruments become available, we may modify or even abandon the uncertainty principle altogether. But until then, the scientific community will continue to accept it as the truth. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.